Now let's begin with electromagnetic. I think the electromagnetic is one that is overrated and perhaps misunderstood, says Ra. An electromagnetic connection is very interesting. That is, you have one partner who has one gate at one end, and you have another partner who has another gate at the other end. Remember, they're not halves. They are parts. And the moment they come together, now we have a quantum. We have mutual conditioning from either side. So that's the first thing to recognize with an electromagnetic. This is mutual conditioning. It's a new channel. It's a new thematic. It's a new relationship strength. Now, most people being not self, in the not self, attraction and repulsion, being very, I love you, I love you, I love you. I hate you. Get the fuck away from me. That's what it can feel like if they're in aura too long. So your solution to too many electromagnetics, hi, it is a problem. My husband and I have seven. We're lucky enough not to have compromise, but we have seven. The solution to this challenge is to make sure that they experiment with sleeping alone. That's the first step, especially if they are, you know, partners in, my mind wanted to say crime, in business. They're partners in business. You know, they, they work together, they live together, they sleep together, they got a lot of electromagnetics, that's going to be a challenge. I can tell you from experience, it's a challenge. The more dissonant connections between those electromagnetics, the more challenging it is going to be. The more harmonic and resonant, the easier it's going to be at first, at first. But it doesn't matter. It's still difference still difference and electromagnetics are sparky. They're the thing that hook you into, Ooh, this is sexy. This is interesting. I like this guy. We're going to have great conversations. We're going to be aware. It's going to be fabulous. We'll be inspired together. We'll be certain together. We'll talk about the mysteries and come to rationalizations and be able to know things. How wonderful. But after some time with an electromagnetic, what happens is why do you always come up with these rationalizations? Why can't I have those rationalizations? I'm the 61. My husband doesn't have a 24, but I'm just anthropomorphizing what the gate might show up like. What happens is the other person starts to take on, remember, mutual conditioning and without awareness thinks that that has to be theirs and is unhappy with the fact that it's always locked into their way because their way is maybe fixed, especially if it's in a defined you know, center where we have a defined center, but we have a new channel. They have their own way that this is always going to show up, their own way that they're going to mutually condition each other. Sometimes if you spend too much time with each other and you've got a lot of these going on in the body graph, you get sick of each other. Here's a different way of saying it. You get irritated. Irritation can show up like a frustration for generator, bitterness for the projector, anger for the manifester. Now, disappointment, that's a different keyword now. With a reflector, remember, disappointment is about expectations of others, them not being connected to their lunar pattern, but expecting things from the other and being disappointed when it's not come to fruition. So now you know how to describe the generality of an electromagnetic. It's a mutual conditioning. It's not big, happy, smiley face. This is not ease. This is not necessarily glory. Oh, it's sexy. Oh, it's attractive. Oh, it's interesting. But it's the thing that can also quickly burn out partners if they don't get enough space. Hope that was very clear. Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor were looking at here. Let me get my pen. Now, what we're looking at is we're honing in on their electromagnetic channels. <clears throat> Here we have a channel of the alpha, leadership for good or bad. Here we have the channel of curiosity, design of a seeker and a searcher. Here we have the channel of discovery, succeeding where others fail, failing where others succeed. Channel of emoting, design of moodiness. Okay, so we have one logic, two abstract, and one individual. You can see from the thematics what more this couple is going to have to deal with 
in the energetics, not only the mutual conditioning of the gates on either side, but what does that do to the centers that they either have defined or not? What influence does it have? What does it create as an energetic between the two of them? You're looking at the relationship. You're looking at the newness, the sparkiness, the interest, the engagement. If you're looking at a love trait, which is often the case between romantic partnerships, here we have a 55, which is eternally indecisive love, wishy-washy, moody, um, fickle is another word for that. And then the 46 is love of the body. So the love of the body, the form, the temple, you know, uh, love, transcendent love, not just love of her body, but love of all forms and all bodies, sorry, his body, because she's in green. So the whole thing about this electromagnetic dance is that this is really where opposites attract. Opposites attract in a channel. So Ross says everything about the electromagnetic is that it is a fundamental tension. Remember that word, tension. Tension is a good word for this. It's tension. Okay. It's the thing that goes, Ooh, oh my God, I'm, I'm attracted to this man. Okay. It's easy to say love and hate, but it's not normally that kind of extreme. We just say it that way so that you remember this is not just, Ooh, sparky, sparky. I love you. Awesome because it's also dislike. You could say dislike, okay? Tension between delicious and terrible, tension. You know that tension when you first meet someone and you're attracted to them and you're kind of like on the edge of your seat and you don't know why? Like, oh my God, this guy's turning me on and I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Sorry, my husband, I can remember. Seven electromagnetics. It just takes one, my friends. One is enough to make a relationship interesting, you will find them. The ones that burn out quickly because they don't know any better, usually the ones that have lots of electromagnetics because they don't know what to do about the electromagnetics to give them a break, like sleeping alone, like getting good with being alone and being in your own aura and doing your own thing and coming together, then the sparks fly again. You give the sparks, the sparklers a rest. When you come back together, they light up. It's the most beautiful thing. It's the thing that will keep the attraction, the fire alive, ignited and alive if you give them breaks with the electromagnetic. So what Ross says is the very thing that attracts you to somebody is the very thing that ultimately is going to be offensive to you. It's just the way it is. It's this old line about familiarity breeding contempt. So we use that term familiarity breeds contempt with the fifth line. Now I want you to link electromagnetic to that tendency. Electromagnetics have impact in a relationship. They're the juicy lighting up sparkiness, love, hate, like, dislike, what have you delicious or terrible, and they breed contempt. Why are you always talking about your beliefs? And why do I have to argue my ideas with you? You see what I mean? So it's tension. It's not just yummy, yummy, happy, go lucky. And that's the uh, dismantlement of the illusion out on Facebook land. Electromagnetics have their downsides. Because an electromagnetic, as Ross says, the connection is always going back and forth in one way or another between this, wow, isn't that fascinating and wonderful, to isn't that a terrible, horrible thing that I have to deal with all the time? Because now remember this, especially when we go into cycles analysis, electromagnetics are personal, okay? They're personal. You personally experience them. These are the things. I love our little animated sparklers <laughs> that spark the relationship. They spark them. And the sparkies will burn out and not be so sparky and not so joyous and not so happy. If they're together too often, too much, it's get out of my face when you've got a lot of these. 